Hey, Lintrepid viewers, and welcome back to Albert and Otto. I'm pretty sure... We have one more take right now. But I'm pretty sure this episode's just going to... Freaking... Uh... Start. Yeah. With a fast forward, because I can't do simple tasks. So let's do that fast forward. You'll see the successful attempt. I'll try to keep count of how many attempts it is, but I don't have much confidence in my ability to do so accurately. So see you guys in about an hour. Okay, looks like we made it. That took approximately 11 and a half minutes. More like 11 minutes. Oh, sheep and fire. More of my favorite things. So that's like this was really hard. Um, I definitely appreciated the middle checkpoint, but it still seemed like, I don't know, a bit like padding the game to have a series of puzzles end or at least ha contain a timing puzzle, because as you're figuring out the timing, you have to try it over and over again, so if you do the first puzzle over and over again. Um, not the worst sequence so far, but uh, definitely a little repetitive. Okay, so she likes Plague Doctors. Let's light her out on fire. God dang it, game. I remember the sequence from the friggin' demo. It sucked then, too. I mean, it's a good sequence. It's actually a good sequence. Uh, and then it makes you feel, you know, it's a very human experience. A very human experience to levitate a sheep with your mind while it's on fire. It's atmospheric, let's put it that way. And it's cool to, you know, have like a kind of a proper platforming sequence in the game, but, uh, I'm not a huge fan of lighting sheep on fire. At least it doesn't scream the entire time. <laughs> That's a quote for the books. At least it doesn't scream the entire time. I think it's dead. That's for the best. I don't know what burning wool smells like. Or even burning sheep, I guess. I mean, I assume it just was like burning meat, but the wool, especially if it's wet, that's probably pretty stanky. Is there gonna be a wolf? Big ol' wolf. Oh, come on. That was so close. From the start? Of course from the start! Why would you respect my time in any way whatsoever? You've already done the puzzle? Eh, do it again, just to be sure. Uh, I mean, there's a limit, right, obviously, like... I wouldn't say there should be a checkpoint after every single jump. But, there is a point where I've clearly done the thing. Uh, so redoing it doesn't really entertain me anymore as a as a player, I guess. Like, right here would be the perfect point for a checkpoint. I mean, I guess you could say, you could make the argument maybe that it's almost over. I don't know. Oh, the fire kills me. So that wasn't even the right solution. But now I get to run through the thing again while I figure this puzzle out, which is super fun. Jeez Louise. Was there water I missed? And this is why I've been fast-forwarding, because, ugh, it's boring for me, or repetitive. I wouldn't go full on boring. I'm not bored, I'm just, um, unengaged. So I don't know what it's like for you guys to watch the same thing over and over again. Is there water? Is there some way for me to put out a sheep? That's actually really cool looking. Uh, well, the sheep's still on fire. The sheep is still on fire. Maybe I don't need the sheep on fire. Maybe I can do this through pure memory. 
I don't think this is gonna work, you guys. <laughs> the sheep kind of glows. <clears throat> I think fire's way to go. Maybe it is memory thing though. That would that would make sense for having to play through it multiple times, but that also seems really hard. <sighs> Something to look for water. The memory thing can't be the solution, can it? It just seems insane. Super, super insane. Okay. Oh, are you a thing I can break, maybe? Can I burn anything? This sheep's gotta go out eventually. So I can use it as a platform, as you do with sheep. Let's fast forward. Oh, now it burns. I don't know why it didn't burn before. Gosh, dang it, game. Ugh, make me do things over and over again. Turns out for no reason. Okay, I'll keep this burning sheep with me. I actually did go through all the effort of, uh, did I cover these rocks? have these rocks. I guess I care about them. I think maybe they're useful. Oh, those spikes right there. Oh, and I've run to death on the sheep. Great. Oh, I love going to do it all over again. It's like the fifth time I've done it. I did it twice in the dark. <sighs> okay, we dropped a box. Now we're gonna go deeper into the cave. Hopefully there's a checkpoint there. Basically I'd use one of those rocks to keep a platform down to open a door so I can move the crate onto the spikes and progress. Do I care? Do I care? I guess I care. But we've made it. And she was still alive, which is terrible. Ooh, a cool snake. The snake eats the sad sheep. That's a message. Oh, more river barrel box fun. You know, not only was that puzzle hard, but I also encountered a multiple bugs where I'd phase through the box or, uh, or I'd bounce off the box somehow. I did not realize I should have kept running. Woohoo! Um, I can't go that way. Did I need a did I need a rock from somewhere? Oh man, this is gonna friggin' take forever. This episode is going to be very short for you, very long for me. So let's uh let's, let's record, I guess we'll keep recording for another attempt. Is that a rock I can even interact with? I can't can't even jump properly. Oh, okay, this is gonna get fast forward now. This is gonna take friggin' forever. The time is 24 minutes and 44 seconds. Let's see when I stop. We've stuffed a sheep, a poor trapped sheep, into the jaws of the beast. Oh god, these jumps are hard. It's a good jumps though, I like them. I'm not gonna like them if I do them again though. That's for diggity dang sure, probably. Oh no. That's a really long shot. Mouse, respect me. Oh, I made it. Nice. Now oh, that was luck. Please tell me there's been a checkpoint so far. Oh, man. My, the stakes are real when my time is on the line. And this music is actually appropriate. The other, earlier they were playing music, which was good and awesome, but, uh, Weirdly calm and soothing. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Oh my goodness gravy. Okay, we're fast forwarding forever. This is gonna take forever if I have to repeat so much. Did 
I win? I think I won. Can't let go of my trusted shotgun. It's a dead sheep skeleton down here. This is the good ending, right? Am I gonna get water powers? I got the bunny with me still. This seems like an ending. This is a cutscene. This is a more dramatic ending than we've had so far. The bunny is alive. Don't leave me, bunny. Thank you, bunny. Thank you, bunny. You're a good bunny. A good and oddly strong bunny. Maybe it's not a shotgun, it's my actual arm. Ooh, a Zeppelin. And non crowbirds. Hey, there's the girl with the hat. To be continued. Cool. So that was Albert Nato. That was a journey. That was hard. <sighs> but we did it. Eventually. It took us. So how long? Actually, that only took six minutes. A little less than six minutes for that final boss. 58 deaths. That is a lot. Let's see, what is it? Oh, 20 to spikes, four to the rabbit getting killed, zero to the wolf, two to getting squished by rocks, 11 to drowning, 15 to falling, zero to birds, and six to fire. 20 to spikes, 11 to water, 15 to falling. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Cool. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know what game I'll be doing next, so I'll see you in whatever that is. Sinter catchphrase. <laughs>